no secret that Melbourne's trains are plagued with crime. I'd encourage people to not travel by themselves. This presentation will make you sick as we shed some light on rail crime. Melbourne's train history dates back some years. Flinders Street Station was built in 1854, with the rest of the network being built over the next 150 years. In 2006, however, things aren't so sweet. The media seems to be all over the place. Rather than listen to a journo, we decided to speak to someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Um, we're policing it heavily and we uh, certainly want to reduce the crime rate on the transit system and make it the safest as we can for all commuters. But what are the motives behind these crimes? We spoke to a convicted offender who we'll call Simo. I did whatever I fucking wanted to basically. There's no laws man. There's, there's only the game to be played, and to be played to the fullest. This is Billy. Billy experienced firsthand what it's like to be a victim of an unprovoked attack at a train station. I was at the station waiting for the train, my own business. I heard this muffled voice over my shoulders, give us your stuff, give us your bag. I didn't take much notice of it, just continued doing my own thing. And, um, uh, nowhere he hit me in the back of the head with a bottle. Uh, that actually slid open the back of my head. When I went down on the ground, he grabbed my bag off my back. And then as I went to get up, he stabbed me in the side of the cheek with a bottle. And that actually pierced all the way through into my mouth. All I could really taste was blood and glass. And like, um, he just left me on the ground, took my shit and just ran off. Melbourne's trains may be infested with crime, but alas, I will not let this influence my decision to travel on them. Will you?